Hi, I'm Katrina. I'm an abstract artist with a passion for creating beautiful artwork that brings a positive presence to any space. Cultivate a positive presence is my business motto, and that indicates how my art makes people feel. And it also indicates that my art contributes a positive energy to any space that it's in. I chose the word cultivate because it indicates that a collector is seeking out something desirable for their home or their workspace. And the word presence indicates that my artwork has a positive energy that fills the space that it's in. Is this on? Okay. Here's a little bit about me. Uh, I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts and a Master's in Teaching from Oregon, which is where I'm from. My grandmother was an artist, and my mother is an artist, and so am I, so that makes me third generation. Mm -hmm. I'm a world traveler. I've lived in several different countries around the world as an expat, and now I'm here in Canada as an immigrant. And most importantly that I want you to know about me is I have a mission to promote positivity through my art, and I'll be talking a lot more about that as we go through this. My artwork typically has pretty bright colors, although I am currently working on a black and white series. Um, usually I choose blue. For some reason, it just really speaks to my soul. I think it's because it's the color of the sky, and I've really marveled at it a lot when I'm on flights traveling, which is something I've done a lot lately. My artwork is mixed media, so I usually mix inks, watercolors, and acrylics all in one, um, all on one ground. You can see my black and white painting back there, and there's a few colorful paintings on the table that you have to get closer to view. This is an example of how my art is presented in my online shop. I sell fine art prints on paper and canvas in various sizes. And I really focus on the word positivity because what people remember about my artwork is how it makes them feel. Um, makes viewers feel positive feelings such as feeling inspired, uplifted, curious, or hopeful. Why positivity? I don't know about you, but I get completely overwhelmed and depressed when I see the news these days. It's a constant stream that comes through our news feeds and into our lives every day. It really does affect my mood and my well-being, and I know it affects other people too. Especially being from the States, it um, affects me really deep, and it's troubling, to say the least. So I find it in a way to be my duty to counterbalance all the negativity I see in the world with, um, through my actions, but also through my art. <sighs> Something more happy. <laughs> uh, my inspiration comes from a lot of things that bring me joy. Um, I had a lot of fun living in Tokyo for two years, and I found I fell in love with the Japanese aesthetic, especially um, Japanese design. As I've said, I've done a lot of traveling, and every time I look out of the airplane window and see the clouds below me and the blue sky above me, I just think it's magical. I also find a lot of inspiration from tiny details in nature. I love to go outside and really search for tiny things that I wouldn't see otherwise if I was just walking around going about my day. I also find a lot of inspiration, and I feel very passionately about equality and feminism. So that is always in the back of my mind as I'm creating my work. Now I'll talk for a few minutes about my vision for my business. I want to be, and I am, my own brand. I want my name and my personality to be the brand. Um, I want to be known for my values and my creativity. Um, I hope people seek me out because of the popularity of my work. 
And I want to do everything. I don't want to be limited to just being a painter, just being a blogger. I want to do um, everything just like an entrepreneur would do. And some of these uh, women, their logos are here because these are artists who have inspired me in the way they've created their careers in the same way that I want to create mine. As I said, I have an online shop. Um, my vision is to make it more profitable. I like to be in control of my own sales instead of having on a third party website. My prints are very high quality. They're printed by a company who specializes in fine art printing rather than just normal generic art printing. I mean, generic printing. I'd like to sell my paintings as originals on my site eventually. The idea of art licensing keeps coming up and it's very intriguing to me, so that's a goal of mine to start very soon. I like the idea of companies being my client and finding companies that share the same values as me. And if I do art licensing with my work, that would be a really nice passive income stream. What artist doesn't want to have exhibitions and residencies? <laughs> I'd love to do more of those in the future. Uh, especially working with gallerists who support the artist and residencies both in North America and internationally. I find that I have had a lot of creative breakthroughs while I'm on a residency because I have no distractions and I'm totally in the zone and focused and I don't know if anybody else has felt that way in a residency before but it's really special and I would love to do more of this. And lastly, the visions for my business. Um, I'd love to t host or lead international art retreats in desirable destinations. I would invite groups of women to travel, explore, and reconnect with their intuition or who they are, or perhaps their goals. And I would love to lead creativity workshops in these places. And of course, I would love to do more commissions. I'm doing a commission right now, and it, I just love how it feels to make the client happy and to contribute my positive presence to their space. So thank you so much to Sarah Jones. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. And thank you to ArtsLink for making this happen. I know this is a relatively new program, and I think it's just fabulous, and I think we would all agree. And thank you all for coming out and supporting us tonight. It really means a lot. Um, if you'd like to see my business card or my, my paintings more up close, it's just in the back there. Thank you.